I'm Lady Aska and today we want to talk about how to make certain parts of your avatar glow. For today's tutorial we will be using the Unity version 2020.3.0 F1 and the Uni VRM plugin version 0.92.02. But all links and informations are, as always, down in the description. Since we always get newer versions of the plugin, you may have to scroll down a bit on the website to find the version I'm using, just as a little heads up. We create a new Unity project and import our Uni VRM plugin under Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. After the import is complete, we drag our avatar into the bottom assets and the sample scene. First we have to prepare a few things, depending on where you want your glow to be added. Let's start with adding a certain glow effect onto the skin of your avatar, on the tattoo for example. We go into Vroid and create a new layer over our skin layer and start to draw out our texture. I recommend to use white for this. Once you are done, you export this layer and save it somewhere. If your motif is very detailed, I also recommend to do the step outside of Vroid. And remember to only export the .png with your texture on it, not with the skin texture together that you may have used as a guideline. Now we switch over into Unity again, where we have our avatar all set up already. And since we don't have a custom avatar, I can actually just drag my new texture into the texture folder of our avatar. This is possible because all female avatars share the same skin template, as do the males. So I'm actually able to import just the texture that I created. We switch to materials and find the skin material and then in the inspector the emission option. You may see a little black window to the left and into this window we will drag now our tattoo texture. To really use the emission option now we activate the color here and pick a light shade and use the bottom slider to adjust the glow. You may have seen this technique already in my animated texture tutorial. Now we can see how the tattoo is showing up on your avatar skin. Once this is done, we could already export our avatar. But we actually have a second option to add glow, and that is through textures directly. Let's say you want a certain material of your avatar to glow, like your eyes or your tail for example. In this case, you just select the material and drag the texture of this material into the emission window. Let's try this now with the eyes. We have our eye material here, go to textures now and drag the eye texture into the emission window. If you don't want to change the color itself, but just add a glow to it, you put the color to white and then adjust the slider slightly higher to add the glow. Now that we have our two options applied, we can export our avatar and test everything in VC phase. Don't forget to select your avatar for export and to set a version, if you haven't done that already. In VC phase, we import our avatar and go to the bloom settings under the effect settings. Take notes of the sliders here. The fusion adds more glow to the area. Threshold limits or extends the area of the glow on the whole avatar. Intensity makes the effect stronger and with color intensity adds a stronger effect in the color you selected above. Something to consider is that you have to have the color intensity and intensity to be set at something at least or it won't work at all. Keep also in mind that if you want your skin glow to have a different color than your eye glow, you would have to set that in Unity or Vroid beforehand, through the chosen texture or the emission color you selected. If you add color in here, it will be added to all your glowing assets. You can always check if your avatar has any emission textures applied by going to VC Face Light Settings and turning the intensity down. Any texture that is still showing after has the emission activated and can be used together with Bloom Effect. Have fun with this little feature and I see you guys next week for the start of a brand new series to celebrate 500 subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support so far. Hope you have a wonderful day.